All right, let's get started. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to remove the background. There are a lot of ways of doing that. And the first of all, uh, I'm going to teach you two ways of doing it. First, you need to uh, copy the background. You need to uh, press Command and J if you are in the Mac. Or if you are in the Windows, you need to press Control and J. After that, you need to uh, press this I button. It's very important. You will understand in the following uh, you know, actions. Then you go to the properties. If you don't have properties, you will find it from the Windows uh, part. And then you press the that button. Once you press it, it removes the background. And you can click back the eye to see uh, whether it's uh, working or not. And uh, you can zoom in, in. As you can zoom, uh, we can see that uh, it has done a good job, but uh, not the 100% clear job, you can see that some parts of the background is still there. How to work with this? You have a mask. Mask is a fantastic tool. You can work with this. You can press the B button. It's like a brush. You can clean the parts. Uh, you can press X button to change whether to get back to the background or remove the background. You can remove with the black color, as you can see there, or if it's a white color, you can go back to the background that you had previously. And also, uh, you can make it clear with this way. We also have the second way. This is the first way. The second way is, has more options. So what I want you to do now, I want you to copy the background one more time. And I also want you to uh, press this uh, button it is called selection quick selection tool i want you to press it you can press w if you want but the quick way of doing it you, you can then select the select subject you press it and once you press it it selects you can press the q button to see the background remove background you can press it again uh, uh, to remove it and then i want you to select this select and mask button as you can see we do not have removed background so what's the mistake? Why it didn't work out? So you press OK. And if you can see, we didn't remove the background's eye. You do it again. Now we can see that it's worked out well. And we can change this stuff here. For example, you can change the smooth or the feather. You can make it uh, more, you know, uh, visible or less visible. Uh, and also we have a contrast. The last pixels of the picture could be more visible or if you want, you can make it less visible. You can make it a little bit more transparent. So also we have the edges, but before the edges, let's make the feather one big pixel and let's make the contrast like about 15%, which is going to be fine. And last we have, uh, we can shift, shift the edges. We can make it uh, more to the background or less to the background by increasing it. I think it's fine. We can go to the middle, to the 0%. It works fine. And also, um, uh, at the end, after you make the 0%, uh, it looks fine now. And what you should do there, you need to select this. From selection, you need to choose Layer Mask. You select it, you press OK, and uh, then you have it. So uh, this is the second result that we have. You can see the first one, uh, it's quite similar, but in the second one, you have more options. If you want, you can also add the background for this purpose. You can add one uh, layer for this. How do you do that? You press this button and um, you change it to the to change position for this. And then you can add uh, the color. You press the G button, you select the color. Let's go for, uh, for let's say this color, and then you paste it. So there we are. So this is the final result. Uh, subscribe to our channel, uh, press the like button and have a nice day.